Hey everybody, it's John with Bike Solutions. I just want to do a quick video on how to take the Goldwing seat on and off. I've been getting several calls and emails regarding the best way to do this, and so I just want to show you a quick down and dirty video on how to remove uh, the driver's seat and the passenger backrest from the Goldwing. Now, first thing that we need to do is you're going to go and open both saddlebags in order to get the side panels off. And this panel has to come off. It's actually held in, so you cannot take this off without opening the door. The way I do it is I start here on the bottom corner. You've got four connector points that basically hold this thing on. So uh, they're little rubber bushings, and you just kind of pull it out. And you can hear the popping, the cracking. It's kind of normal because it's just plastic. So there, that one came off. Just set that one there come around to the other side and we'll take this one same thing start here the way I do it is I start here on the bottom corner I kind of work my way around and take that off once you have those off the next thing you need to do is uh, remove the or disconnect the electrical connection this is your seat heater wiring harness this pigtail is pretty short and so if you uh, don't remove it you're not gonna get the seat off and you've got a little tab here on the back you just push the tab Pull up, kind of tight in here. There we go. And once you have that disconnected, you can just leave it off to the side. You have two screws that actually hold in the seat here on the front, and they're located under this panel. You have one on this side, one on the other side. Six millimeter Allen bolt is what that is. So you just get a T handle wrench, and you take those two screws out. Then once you get that, lift up on the front corners. You've got two little rubber bushings that hold these front down. Then you just grab the seat, lift up, wiggle it forward, and it's off. Put it back on, you do the same thing. What I've done uh, that really helps a lot is you take some uh, light oil, WD-40 or something like that, put it on these rubber bushings, put it on this back uh, frame rail, because you have to slide this rubber against that frame and it's easier to slide this on and off uh, once you have a little lube on there. Now one of the things I want to make uh, everyone really aware of, if you notice there are, from the factory you have two bushings that go in these holes. Mine are missing. I've already lost one. They're not pressed fit in there. They're just kind of set in there. They come out pretty easy. I've already lost one. Um, so just be very cognizant of those little bushings. You may even lose them putting on the seat. Um, I haven't had a major issue not having them on there. but. Just to let you know they do fall off. So, to take the passenger uh, backrest off, you have to open up your trunk and take out a bunch of screws. And you have a screw here, 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 in the front, and then on the same on the other side. So the two screws in the very front corner are a little bit shorter, so you can just keep those separate. But once you have all those screws out, the backrest just lifts straight up. Kind of give it a little lip on the front, pull that up, and then on yours you'll have the electrical connector uh, attached, and this is just a little key, you just push down on it, pull it out, and uh, then that takes care of that. So those are the only things that are holding this thing on. Um, to put it back together you just reverse the process, hook your electrical up, screw it down, but uh, now that it's off, it's in a great way to send it to me and make it a whole lot more comfortable. So if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call at 512-394-9601. You can shoot me an email to john at bikesolutionsllc.com or go to my website, which is bikesolutionsllc.com, download the GL1800 order form, send the seat to me. I can make it a whole lot more comfortable for you. Thanks for watching.